I'm in the middle of working on some more trippy drippies, also known as snowfall tubes, or rain tubes, or meteor tubes. And I'm working on a set for myself. So uh, I need to build about 75 to uh, 90 of these things for my uh, outdoor tree. And right now I am uh, coming up on 26. And as of this point, I am almost out of uh, microcontrollers. I have uh, four left. I am uh, just about at the end of my resistors. And my uh, momentary push button is almost empty. I have plenty of uh, neutral white LEDs. I have a, a few uh, warm white LEDs, but uh, right now, for uh, for my project, I am working on a uh, a combination of uh, neutral white and uh, ice blue uh, snowfall tubes. And uh, I started this project back in 2019. And probably around 2018, I stumbled on uh, Big Clive's uh, channel, and uh, this is where the uh, all of this has come about from his channel. I uh, watched, uh, I think he's got like two or three different videos of uh, the uh, description and the uh, layout, and the uh, there's a whole video of him soldering up a whole thing of. Uh, his own tubes there for uh, his project and uh, you know he made a, uh, a jig which uh, in turn I made my own jig so uh, he used uh, enamel enameled wire and uh, five millimeter tubes and uh, I used uh, enameled wire and 10 millimeter uh, LEDs and uh, the uh, circuit has, uh, you know, four segments in it. It has an A segment, a B segment, a C segment, and a D segment. So there's, uh, you know, flip-flopping voltages, and there's floating voltages, and all that other good stuff. So uh, this is what I started out with. I made uh, about 13 or 14 tubes, which are still running today. And uh, with the enameled wire and the uh, 10 millimeter uh, LEDs. And uh, so that gave me, gave me to thinking that, uh, you know, maybe I can design a, uh, a PCB. Because there's several PCB uh, factories out, out there in the uh, interwebs that, uh, you know, for a small fee will build you, uh, you know, printed uh, PCBs and uh, you know you just got to send them the uh, appropriate files and uh, drawings and you know whatever it takes to uh, you know make a PCB so I spent uh, about two weeks you know self uh, teaching myself uh, KiCad that was my uh, software of choice to uh, build these PCBs and uh, these particular ones are uh, four layer so there's a layer for the uh, eggs A uh, circuit, uh, B circuit, the C circuit, and the D circuit. For for my purposes, it made it easier for uh, you know the uh, track layout and the vias. And uh, these these are uh, a double sided uh, PCB. So there's uh, you know the front side and the the back side, and then there's the two layers in between. And, uh, you know, I designed it for the, uh, the uh, 3528 LED to be uh, hand soldered or hot air soldered, uh, you know, whichever I choose to do. And, uh, you know, I put a, uh, you know, a PIC-12 uh, microcontroller because that's what uh, Clive uses. And uh, I downloaded that software and I have a, a dedicated uh, uh, PIC-12 uh, microcontroller programmer. That will be just dedicated to, you know, making these things. So I've been, uh, you know, as I, uh, you know, work on this, I, I think back to uh, 2019, uh, the summer of that, where I made about, I think, 13 of these things for uh, JK18. 
and uh, so I made uh, these in uh, warm white. So you know the closest color to uh, you know incandescent. So uh, he features uh, them on his channel. I demoed them, and uh, we're still waiting on him to put them up in his uh, in his bar or Club J. It's been uh, you know coming up uh, and it's actually over two years now. So maybe we can, uh, you know, put a little pressure on him. He needs a little influence every once in a while to uh, motivate him. So, you know, like I said, I, uh, I need to build like between 75 and 90 of these things. And uh, eventually I'll be building more because I want to do all my trees. I want to do my uh, primary tree that goes outside, the uh, Balsam Hill. And that has uh, snowfall tubes on them now that are, you know, factory made, you know, they're all pre-made. And they've been working good for many years, but they're, uh, you know, they're just about at the end of their life now because uh, they're not 100% waterproof. And, uh, you know, the condensation and, and water gets in them. And I can tell that, uh, you know, it's just a matter of... Uh, how many more years are left in them before the uh, the corrosion sets in and uh, rots off the uh, the legs of the uh, LEDs because that's how they're made. So uh, you know you got the legs here that are just uh, pretty much uh, just jammed into uh, you know their circuits, and the water gets you know it's, it's going to get under them and. and eventually rust out the legs because these are kind of like a steel clad and uh, legs on LEDs where uh, you know mine is surface mount but that doesn't mean that they're immune to the uh, corrosion so uh, you know from time to time I have to fix them you know you know out on the tree and out in the weather because the the wire itself is uh, getting brittle because it's they're they're old they're they're probably 10 years old or so say by now and uh you know i haven't had much problems with them but you know every once in a while i have to swap out a tube or fix the uh resistor in them or you know just uh you know just toss them you know and find another tube because i have a uh, a sacrificial set that i you know just you know cut it off and uh splice them together so uh, while I'm working on these I uh, you know I made uh, a set in warm white and uh, right now I'm making sets in uh, neutral white but I also have uh, the ice ice colored light which is also known as the uh, the fake uh, wannabe uh, UVC uh, color, which is a, a very nice uh, sky blue, you know, uh, ice blue that uh, I just recently acquired a whole uh, spool of them. They just uh, recently come on the market. And uh, so I, uh, you know, did a lot of searching on uh, looking for them, and I eventually I found them. So now I have... Uh, you know, about, uh, you know, 20, uh, 14, 15 or so, 13 or so of the uh, neutral whites that I will eventually build in the, uh, the ice uh, white uh, lights that I have. And I'll uh, give a little demonstration of them. So uh, the system works on anywhere between, you know, 2 volts and 5 volts. So... Uh, I just have a little 3.7 volt uh, light bulb pack to power them up right now. And uh, this is what they look like. And uh, I'll turn some of the lights off here to uh, give a better demonstration of these things. So you can tell it's got a very nice uh, sky blue type color on them. And uh, of course, I got uh, there's several different programs on this thing. By default, you get the uh, standard drop, and this one it has uh, a momentary where the top light stays on and then falls, and then this one is uh, it drops and then stays on at the bottom a little bit, 
And then this one has uh, the drop with a little flashy at the end. And then this mold is, uh, is uh, pretty much a, a random uh, lighting where the, all the uh, LEDs are being multi multiplexed. So being that it's multiplexed, it's, uh, you know, it has reduced brightness, and that's just the way this is. There's really nothing I can do to, uh, to brighten them because the PIC-12 uh, microcontroller only has so much output that it can handle. So uh, these ice blue, the neutral white, and the warm white, they're all, you know, 20 milliamp um, LEDs, but uh, granted that the uh, microcontroller is nowhere near driving them that hard because uh, the controller itself is not capable of uh, driving these LEDs that hard. So as we uh, keep continuing on, you know, there's all kinds of different patterns in here, you know, so you pick one that you like. And then uh, I think there's 13 or 14 different modes on this. You know, so, you know, you get a little bit of a, of a selection and, you know, you can choose some of the brighter ones and then, you know, have like, I don't know, four or six of them doing different things. Or you can have each tube doing its own thing, you know, whatever you like. For the for well for me to have whatever it wants to do. So there's uh, there's a lot of options on this thing that you know so you can change them up. You can have them all doing one thing. You know, can have each one doing something different. So this uh, you know all kinds of and of course Clive he he does his own uh, explanation of how he created the uh, the programming and the circuitry and you know stuff like that. So uh, this one is uh, uh, the favorite of uh, Jay. It's a, it's a random fire, you know, where you can have one fire or, or two fires, three, four, three different, uh, four uh, fires going down at any one time. You know, you can have a whole uh, plethora of four going down and then it goes down to one or whatever. So, and it's also one of the brighter of the, uh, it drives the, the LEDs a little longer, you know. So there's, just like I said, there's different patterns in here. So you can have them do uh, some, uh, you know, psychedelic type things. And then we're back to uh, the number one pattern, which is the uh, default when you power them up. So uh, one nice thing that, uh, you know, that this happens to have is it's almost based on a, like an incandescent type uh, setup. So each time it's powered up, it does a, a bulb check. So, you know, you can scan to see if, you know, any of them are out and stuff like that. It's kind of useful when I'm building these things, but... Uh, you know, every once in a while, uh, you know, you're going to miss them because it, it, it goes so fast. So you just pick a pattern where most of them are on. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I've been building. So I'll, I have a whole plethora of these things being built. You know, I'm right now I'm at, the, you know, 26, and then I'll have to uh, buy some more. So uh, I went to my regular sites. You know, I went to, to Mauser because that's where I bought the uh, the neutral white and the uh, warm white uh, LEDs. Uh, so far, uh, their prices for for the LEDs haven't gone up too much. Uh, same goes for the uh, the momentary switch and the uh, the resistors. They're pretty much at a steady. Uh, steady price but the, the thing that has uh, gone up uh, considerably is the uh, the PIC-12 uh, microcontroller uh, when I bought these they were about uh, 84 cents each uh, they're currently out of stock of them for the particular uh, I think that came on it in a tape so Mauser has a uh, an alternate type tape and it's uh, now each controller is a dollar twenty-four. So uh, that's a that's a little bit of a kick in the pants.
you know, to, because uh, I still need about another 50, 60 of them. So that's, uh, so, but I, I usually order them in 100 anyway. So uh, the first batch was uh, 50s. So now that I uh, am dedicated to uh, building these things, I'll, I'll get 100 at a time now. So that's, uh, you know, a little over $100 for just microcontrollers. And I think it's about 28 bucks for a set of 100 of resistors and uh, about 50 bucks for momentary switches and, and something like that. Um, the ice blue LEDs, I, uh, I just happened to find them on eBay and they're, I think they're about a penny a piece. So, <laughs> so it's, they're direct from the, uh, you know, the mothership of China. So I got a whole spool of them, of uh, 2,000. So there's 2,000 on a, and a reel. So each tube takes uh, 24 LEDs. So uh, 24 LEDs, there's two resistors on each end. One drives the, uh, the little flashy here on the end. One drives the whole kit and caboodle here. So, uh, yeah, and uh, then I went to uh, JL's PCB, JLC PCB, and uh, their, their prices vary up and down. So, uh, I think when I ordered uh, J set and I ordered this set back in 2019, I think each board was, it was either 2 or $3, you know, because of their prices at the time, but... Two years later now, uh, right now, a set of 100 of these things, uh, each board is a little over a dollar. So uh, I'll do a reorder on them. And, uh, you know, from time to time, I'll, uh, I'll work on them, you know, because it takes, it takes about, uh, you know, anywhere from 40 to an hour to uh, completely go through uh, each one and build them. So, you know, it's quite a bit of man hours, you know, building these things, and, uh, and that's just the way it is, you know, when you got something that's, uh, you know, a one-off. So, uh, yeah. So, every time I build one, I, uh, I test each one to make sure that they're, they're working, and I touch up any, uh, you know, bad solder joints and, and stuff like that. And then uh, finally, I uh, I went to my uh, plastics uh, place where I bought the uh, polycarbonate tubing, and uh, it's uh, that's gone up uh, quite a bit for the uh, polycarbonate. So it's uh, I think it's almost a hundred dollars for about. Uh, I forget how many feet. I think it's each. I think each tube is like uh, sixty or seventy-two or ninety-six inches or something like that. And uh, so that's gone up uh, quite a bit, more than I want to spend for the uh, the plastic tubing. So uh, I looked around for uh, art alternatives, and I thought about having like a frosted uh, tube which would look kind of cool because the whole tube would have a, a different look than uh, the ones that are clear, but uh, they don't exist. So uh, I'll stick to the, uh, the clear tubes and uh, mine will be cleared uh, acrylic. And, uh, you know, I'll cut each one's size, you know, to uh, accommodate uh, the wires coming in and the uh, the little trippy uh, the flashy at the end so you know you can have a little bit of space on each end of the tube and then I got a source uh, see where I bought the end caps and then uh, the next stage will be figuring out how am I going to wire them you know because you know anywhere from 75 to uh, 90 tubes I have decided whether I'm going to just daisy chain them you know bring the wire in the cap and then solder them to the board and then have a wire coming in, a wire going out. Or having like a main central line and then branching off of them. Uh, 
TTAP thing off of them. Uh, of course, I got to take in consideration of, uh, you know, they got to be out in weather for about two months. So uh, whether I, uh, you know, daisy chain them or, or TTAP them, you know, I'll have to uh, weatherproof them. As for the boards, uh, after I clean them up, I might have to get a, a small little ultrasonic uh, cleaner to clean off all the flux and uh, residue off the boards. And uh, I'm going to uh, conformal coat all of these boards. So uh, it's a, a special spray that you spray the boards down and you let it tack up a little bit and then you spray it in a different direction and it, it should just about seal all these up, you know, 100% which will, you know, make the boards uh, pretty weatherproof, you know, so whether the, the water gets in, because, you know, in time, it, it's going to get in anyway, so. So other than that, that's what I'm up to. I'm uh, working on trippy drippies. So that's it for this video. Hopefully we'll uh, have some more videos of me uh, continuing on with this project, and uh, take care. We'll see you on the next videos. Bye-bye.